A few videos ago, we spent some time talking about how we can thin acrylic paints down to make them more manageable. In this video, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to talk about how we can add medium to our different paints to make them thicker so we can do completely different things with them. This time on Mixed Media Masters. Hello, makers, and welcome to the studio. If this is your first time, then welcome. Good to have you here. If there's anything along the way that you see that makes you happy, please feel free to hit that like button. Also, we do this every single week, sharing with you tips and tricks on how you can embrace your own inner artist. If this is the kind of thing you like, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. We'd love to talk to you on a regular basis. Now, this time around, we're going to take a look at another thing we can do to extend the usefulness of our standard tubes of acrylic paint. I'm going to be working uh, with uh, my friend here, which is uh, a Liquitex Basics. It's, uh, it's, a, it's not a bad paint at all, but it does come in kind of thick. And I want to talk about some different approaches that we can use to uh, make this even thicker. How about that? Now, why would I want to take my thick paint and make it even thicker? Well, because sometimes as an artist, I'm looking for an effect. I'm looking for something that almost allows me to go in and sculpt my paint as opposed to just taking it and putting it on with a paintbrush. And so I want to talk a little bit about different methodologies that we can do with that. Uh, to start with, let me grab my ramekin here. I have a canvas set up that we can work with here. And I'm going to drop a little bit of paint into my ramekin here. Not too much because one of the things that's really nice about working with different mediums is that it helps us extend our paint. We're really adding, in this case, it's going to be pigment-free acrylic paint to our existing paint. So it's not going to thin it out all that much. And in this case, it's not going to thin it out at all. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll start kind of on the low end here. And uh, I'm going to be working with this Liquitex uh, this is a matte, super heavy gel. So what does that mean for us? Well, if we open this up, we can see it's uh, it looks kind of like almost cold cream. And if I take this and I scoop into this, and I'm not going to use too much. Maybe I'll do about 50% of what I already have in here in my ramekin with the paint. And just start stirring these guys together. What's going to start to happen is it's going to take the blue color and it's basically going to mix it into this medium that I'm adding in here. Now, the thing that's nice about this medium, again, is it's allowing us to take our paint and create a much heavy, heavier texture than we normally would. And the advantage of that, especially using something like a palette knife, is I can come in here now and I can apply it to my canvas and I can get some different effects depending upon what my needs are. Now, again, you may want a full body paint for a project you're working on. You could hit that with a paintbrush. That would work out just fine. But what this allows me to do is to have a heavier basically uh, just a heavier consistency with this uh, this color and uh, just make it make it so it's going to cover and spread and do whatever I need to do with it all right so that's kind of at the base level this allows me to come in here and take my heavy paint and and keep it heavy and allow me to work with it depending on what my needs are now that may be enough for what you're doing or you may say you know it would be really great if I could find a way to make my paint even heavier so let's talk about that i'm going to do the same thing again let me grab another ramekin here and let's get some more paint in it there we are and i'm going to reach now for uh, uh my liquitex this is my liquitex thickening gel that's what this is and by the way uh as advertised now this is a little bit more amber let me grab a paper towel real fast just to clean off my palette knife here so i don't cross contaminate anything and I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a little bit of this thickening gel and I'm going to mix it in with my paint. Now, better living through chemistry, but as soon as you start mixing these two together, I want you to notice that the whole consistency of the paint changes pretty dramatically. Hopefully you can see that. It's actually having a chemical reaction and this whole thing is in essence curdling, if that's a good term for it. My paint is curdling. And what it allows me to do now is I'm really creating a paste. It's really tightened up and it's a very pasty kind of thing as opposed to that liquid paint I was dealing with just a few seconds ago. And what this means now is I can grab this and again, if I'm looking to create a kind of textured thing, it allows me to, to do that, to do just that. And it's a very different effect. If you Hopefully you can see in the video comparing the top sample and the bottom sample here. This is almost like we're kind of spreading out some sort of, I don't know, it's like almost a... It's like a fruit paste, if that makes any sense. It's almost like fruit leather that's being laid out here, okay? Now, again, this is about the effects that we want. And if I'm an artist and I'm looking to create some sort of a textured effect like that, 
this will allow me to do what I need to do. So those are two approaches, one that allows us to really just extend our paint and keep it thick. This one really transforms it and it's gonna make it into more of a, uh, a, a thicker uh, paste, if you will, that we're going to work with. Now let's take a look at another alternative here. I'm gonna close this up. And one of the things when we're dealing with paints is oftentimes the finish of the paint is part of what you're really working with here. So I work mostly with acrylic paints that have a matte finish. One of the things I like to do is I'll put things on a canvas and at the end, I will just make everything all pretty and glossy by putting a varnish coat over it and that works. But sometimes you might wanna have something that stands out on its own, has some gloss in a sea of matte or whatever your needs are. So we might use a different type of medium like this one here from Golden, which is a regular gel gloss. And what this allows me to do, and I'll go to my, my super fancy uh, ramekin this time, is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add some of the, uh, the gel, glossy gel. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna transform my paint. You're not gonna notice it right away because this is gonna be more of the finish when this dries. But as I stir this together, what I'm really doing is I'm taking my matte paint and I'm mixing it with a gloss medium, which means now when this gets applied and dries on the canvas, it is going to be a shinier paint. That's our overall objective. Again, it doesn't, it, it keeps the, the paint pretty thick for us to work with. But what's going to be most important here is when this finally dries, this is going to be a shiny, glossy surface as opposed to a more dull matte surface. And it also still gives us an opportunity to create some sort of a, uh, a textured uh, layout if that's what we're going for as well. Okay, so that is there as well. And there's one last thing I want to show you here, um, which is kind of the extremes of this. Again, kind of get a combination of things. And that is something called modeling paste. Now, here is something from Artists Loft. And I'm showing you these different brands because A, I happen to have them because I'd like to try these different things to see how they compare and contrast. And also, be honest with you, sometimes there's a real big price differential between one brand and another. And, uh, you know, unless you're a, a superstar, I'm not so sure I can really tell the difference between the results of some of these things. So I'm happy to go with the budget brand sometime. But in this case, let's go and grab a little bit more paint. Get it in here. There we are. And I'm going to grab my modeling paste and let's get some of that in here. Now this almost looks like it's a putty. It's a putty color. But what's really fascinating about the modeling paste is it does just that. It's very similar to what we were working with with our thickening gel is it's going to come in here and it's going to really allow us to thicken up this paint. But it's not going to be as curdling. It's not going to look like it's, it's transforming and becoming more of a, I don't know, some sort of a a paste. It stays fairly smooth, um, although it gets a little bit thicker. And what's really nice, again, because this is a modeling paste, is it allows me now to come in and I can really use it to create a textured type of effect if that's what I'm trying to do. So I come in here, layer this on, and, uh, you know, for some artists, it's very important to have something where, the, where it has relief and the texture that rises off of the surface of the canvas. And so in this case, I can come in here and I can, you know, add some, some texture, add some relief to my work very easily without compromising the colors I want, right? I already have the paint. All I'm doing here is I'm augmenting that paint so it can do more of what I want it to do. So there are a few different examples. Again, and I'll have all the descriptions for these products in the description below. And uh, you guys can check them out on your, on your own. But I want to just share with you, there are different methodologies for changing the paint we have and turning it into something that we don't actually have that allows us to do things that we can't do natively just out of the tube. And so I hope you got something out of this and enjoyed the process here. And again, feel free to go and experiment on your own. There's some really interesting things that you can learn in this process. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for dropping by and I'll see you next time.